I'm back. My four-year-old wanted to show me a Spyro toy. That's pretty cool. Evidently they have Skylanders figures. Probably at McDonald's or something. Okay, uh, the next thing I got from Epoch is this really rare crane. and I'm, I'm a little disappointed that it's so sun damaged. And for those of you not familiar with what that is, it means that it's it sat in the window or something for a while. And the, the sun's rays can fade uh, boxes, cardboard and and art and stuff, but um, any paint really. So this is a Mario Crane game, and I have something just like this. So again, it's one of those things when I was looking, I'm like, I have that. No, something's different about it. I have it. So I had to come down and look at the other um, Crane game that I have, and it sure is different because the characters come in little capsules. So it's actually like a uh, um, like a UFO catcher. Or if like your little crane game uh, deal, they call them UFO catchers normally in Japan. Or maybe that was a Sega coined phrase. I'm not really sure. But uh, the other one I have is um, a coin pusher. So Epoch came out with a lot of these little um, arcade game things. But the figures are exactly the same. They have the same figures. They just come in little capsules. So they have Mario, Peach, Yoshi, a Monty Mole, Bowser, a Bullet Bill, or a Bonsai Bill. Sorry and a little Goomba. And um, there's a price tag on here. I love it when I see the price tags. It says 3980 3980 yen. And I'm not sure if that was like in a vintage shop or who knows, or if that's the actual price tag of what it sold for originally. Um, one has to speculate. But. So there you go. Here's all the pieces. Um, so that, that's one of the reasons I thought it was the same thing, is, is, is the same figures. So I was assuming that it was the same game, but it's not. So you, the goal of this game is to pick up the little capsules with your crane claw. And um, that looks exceptionally difficult. Hopefully it's not, because this is obviously a kid's toy. But they have little tokens as well for you to, um, for you, you to pop in there to operate the crane. And that's the second reason I thought it was the same coin pusher game, which is the, the um, seller had all the components out, and I saw the coins. I'm like, well, that's the coin pusher game, but it wasn't. So here's all the, um, the figures in their capsules. And I wonder, I haven't checked this yet. My big question was, ah, whether you can take them out of the capsules or not, and you can. But I think it's cooler to have them inside. Now the other question I had was, are they different figures and they appear to be smaller? Look how small that is. Oh my gosh. Little Yoshi. Um, so all the figures that were in the other one also were scaled down for this game. As far as I can tell. Let's see. Well, Peach might be the same size. Yoshi sort of looks smaller though. But that's neat. It comes in little capsules and then... Yeah, they might be the same size. I have to get the actual things in check, but... Looks operational too. Let me get this whole thing out of here. There's all the capsule figures. So... Here's a little tray that goes in here to catch the ball. Goes in there like that. Here, there, ah. okay, and here's the little top sign, Mario Crane, okay, and when you put the coin in, and maybe you have to use actual yen, because I don't think I have the, I didn't see the coins, huh. the seller had the coins listed, I'll have to check my other stuff, um, so this thing moves, and then when you move it, when you move this arm down, you can see that it tries to grab it. So it motorizes the lateral movement, and then the vertical is up to you. And you can see that the claw goes down, and opens up a little bit, and then goes after those little capsules. So, very cool little item from Super Mario World. Which, as you know, is Super Mario Bros. 4 in Japan. So there you go. Stuff all that back in there. 
So, two really, two really awesome items from Japan, from Epoch. And man, did they make some cool items back in the day. As you can see, see, um, this one is much more vibrant than this one. And there's the sun fading problem again. But, uh, the actual item inside is much nicer. And this, if it's really, um, like I still paid quite a bit for this. And, uh, yeah, the other, the one I saw in the box that was not sun faded went for twice that amount. Um, so it's just nice to have this item and to be able to show it to you. And I'm not too bothered by the sun fading, so I'll live. Talk to you guys later.